morning guys how are you all doing i hope that you are fine amazing and well so i did call at my bank last week and they told me that uh, youtube has already posted my income so i'm moving to the bank to withdraw that money and convert it and i want to bring you along but before that if this is the first time you're watching me make it a point that you subscribe you like, you comment, and you share out with friends and family. I always recommend, please like the video. It helps to push it a little bit further so that uh, other people can also find it important. Actually, before also the vlog ends, I'm gonna be explaining all you need to know about the exchange rates in, uh, in Uganda and probably why did I pick Cairo Bank? Because on the last vlog, it actually performed very well and a lot of you guys, especially those who wanted to open up dollar accounts, had those questions yeah I usually board a boda boda from my house to the city center and from the city center to Cairo Bank it's actually very very near I usually walk there you can literally take a boda boda but it's very very near that's why I do opt always and always to walk to the bank The bank is on Nakasero Road and I believe it's also Entebbe Road you know because it's uh in the middle of the two roads uh besides nakasero and entebbe road that's where it is located i reached at this spot around i believe 9 a.m in the morning around 9 it was approaching to 10 a.m in the morning and uh as soon as i did enter i did pick up the forms the withdraw forms i went in to fill them in with my national id because the national id is very important they can't give you the money without your national id because they have to confirm that you are the person so i just went in and filled in the form the amount of money i'm going to be withdrawing then after that i went into the room where dollars are withdrew from withdrew the money but i never recorded anything Okay, so hello guys, uh, this is the future me, you know, uh, tuning in. I actually had an abrupt program, I had to rush very fast from town to come to school because I needed to hand in some important documents that I'm going to be sharing with you very soon. But also I wanted to pass via Alua Park because one of you recommended that uh, they have some good exchange rates, so I never wanted to rush. But anyway, right now I want to show you that dollars, I have withdrawn uh, 115 US dollars. That is approximately 400, 300 
8390 uh, Ugandan shillings. This is the money going on over here. Yes, this is 100, this is a 10, and this is 5. In total, 100, 115 US dollars. And I think this is just enough to take me throughout November because I also have my other small, small businesses, like small scale businesses that I usually get money to support my lifestyle and all that. Yeah, so that's what I'm going to be doing right now. I'm traveling back to the city center. It's about 1,000 Ugandan shillings from where my school is to the city center in Kampala. Try to pass by Alua Park and uh, check and see the, their exchange rates. The other thing, you guys, I had promised to tell you why I used Cairo Bank. For me, my own opinion, like the requirements for Cairo Bank were not that like demanding. Yes, they only asked me for a national ID and uh, a deposit, the starting deposit of $20. In fact, also that $20 is yours because I have ever withdrew it, uh, added onto the money YouTube did send me. Then also a uh, passport size photograph. It's very convenient. They don't have a lot of like terms and conditions they put on you and uh, you can withdraw any time you want. And for me, that was also very, very absolutely important. And I think that is why even I choose Cairo Bank. But before you go into, you know, to open up any dollar account in any bank, please move as much as you can. I did my research. I settled with Cairo Bank. I went to Absa Bank. I went to Centenary Bank. I went to Equity Bank. I went to a bunch of banks, but this one is the one which I chose based on my investigation. As soon as I came back to the city center, I started looking for different locations to change my dollars from. I started from this one. There it's where 3,760, which is not that bad, but very low. Then I also looked at this one. This one is called uh, Save Forex Bureau. And there it's where 3,775, which is actually very, very high compared to the previous one, almost 20 ish you know uh added then i continued to move also this is panel forex bureau for them it is 3770 the previous one is actually better then i also found this this is exchange uh forex bureau this one it is the same in fact the same as the previous the previous one 3770 then I just continued to move, you know, I never wanted to settle for less because you would exchange your money from there and just two blocks down the road and you find where it is more convenient. So I also did find this. It was also very, very low as you see, 3,765. I decided to just continue moving through Galilaya Plaza or Gaza Land towards Arua Park since one of you guys recommended me that next time when I'm changing my payment I should try Arua Park so that's where I'm moving right now <laughs> reaching Alua Park guys look at that the dollar was at 3774 yes 74 and i was very excited because also for the smaller notes it was 3650 compared to the other one which you saw where uh, they had 3775 so what i did i just picked out uh, you know one of which i did love and I handed in over the money and they explained to me everything, the small notes, the bigger notes, and they just went in to convert my money. guys hopefully you can hear me very well i'm done with converting the money 
uh, the bigger rates they were for three thousand seven hundred seventy four, and uh, the bigger the smaller notes uh, the fifteen dollars they were for three thousand six hundred fifty. So right now I'm going back home. Hopefully I'm gonna be showing you everything as I return when I reach back home. Good evening guys once again i actually never wanted to end off our vlog without telling you the total amount of money you know going on over here that i was able to withdraw and convert the same day uh i have the receipts that is the good thing so i'm gonna be passing through the receipt uh the I converted both the small bills and the large bills from that same location. Uh, that was Eluba Foreign Bureau. Thank you very much to the person who told me to use Arua Park. Guys, at Arua Park, $100, you can exchange them for $3,774. $775. Can you believe that? And yet, almost every other Forex Bureau, it is $3,760, $3,750. Can you see the difference? Guys, I was very, very absolutely excited. That is the truth, you know? So uh, for 100, I did get three, 377,000 Ugandan shillings, 400. And the good thing that she did, uh, like, separate for me the whole money. I can stand here. We are sent a movie money One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Give me 12, 100 Ugandan. 100,000 Ugandan shillings. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Also, this is Mitwaro Kumi. 100,000 Ugandan shillings. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Also, this is 100,000 Ugandan, 100, Ugandan shillings. And Mitwaro Kumi, that is 300,000 Ugandan shillings. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 70,000 Ugandan shillings and 7,000 Ugandan shillings. This is 70. 70,000 Ugandan shillings. 7,000 Ugandan shillings. Then are the 400 Nenusubina. Yes. And then the small bills, uh, they had 54,000 Ugandan shillings. Emitwaro etano mo enkuminya zis nenkuminya gulusamfu mo atano. I don't know where I did put the coins. But yeah, in total, that brings me to how much. Let me first of all even add in the total. So 377,400 plus 54, 75, 75,0. That brings me to 432,150 Ugandan shillings. Emitwala ana muevili munusuchukumi muatano. So that is the total amount of money I've withdrawn on this second. Actually, this is the second withdrawal. Yes, when it comes to Google AdSense money, this is the center is all. So thank you very much, guys, for watching today's vlog. I know it has been a little bit lengthy, but thank you for sticking around up to now. Let us meet in the next vlog. And here, let me also know what you thought of the vlog from start to finish. In case you have any other idea of any vlog you want to see from me, also let me know. Definitely, I'll be doing it. Yeah. Bye for now.